So hi everyone, today I would be giving you some information on conception versus empirical research type. So here we, this is a video which is a continuation of the different types of research and previously we had seen about the other types of researches which is descriptive and analytical, applied versus fundamental, qualitative versus quantitative. So for people who are new to this video, this is all about the research types and in this video we will be focusing on conceptual versus empirical. If you haven't got to see the previous videos, you can always click uh, on the link below in the description box to view and get information on the other uh, research types. So let's get into it. So basically in this video, apart from conceptual versus empirical and other research types that we are going to see here, there are descriptive versus analytical, applied versus fundamental, qualitative versus quantitative research types. So let's get into it and see what is conceptual versus empirical research type. So conceptual research. This research is totally related to abstract ideas or theories and it's all related to just, you know, theories okay there's not much of you know um, background data that you require or any um, you know experiments that need to be performed nothing much it's just based on abstract ideas or theories okay so a very um, good example that i can give you is the um, you know the idea by which people first said that the earth was just a flat surface but then later on someone else redefined that idea okay they had a different idea saying that the earth could be spherical in shape so these are different examples of you know um, conceptual research where you have abstract ideas or theories and then you start developing on that so usually who uh, if you see the personas that do this type of research mostly it's thinkers and philosophers who want to think outside the box they are the ones who mostly use it. Why they use it for is for developing new concepts or for reinterpreting the existing ones. So taking the very um, idea that the earth would have been a flat surface, people took that up and they redefined it and reinterpreted it saying that it could be spherical. So these are, um, this is the example about conceptual research. When you look at empirical research, it's also called as experimental research. This is totally opposite to the conceptual research because when you look at um, you know, empirical research, this type of research exclusively relies on the observations or on experiences and it never gives any room for any theory. Okay, so if you that which means that if you have to prove something that some this is the input and these are the outputs, if you have to prove anything it definitely needs a strong evidence for it. You just cannot prove it with mere theory. It needs to be, you know, uh, you need a strong proof to support your hypothesis. So this type of research, it is totally data driven because you need the data for proof. So it's data driven and it's it often comes up with conclusions that can be verified through experiments or through observation. So as I said, since you have a theory in hand, when it has to be verified, either it should be verified with experiments, observations or your background, uh, you know, data that you collected. So always what you want to prove, it has to be, you know, provable. You need supporting experiments or observations to, you know, prove that whatever you're, you know, uh, bringing forth your idea, all that can be supported. So this is about empirical research. So, so little more about this type of research is that. First, what the researchers do is they formulate a working hypothesis and then they get the sufficient, you know, facts to prove or to disprove the stated hypothesis. So let's say, for example, we can take a very common example for now for the, um, the COVID. So when they, you know, identified COVID, that was one of the, you know, problems that were arising and that could be the problem statement. So people had to, when they had to, you know, um, discover and to bring a vaccine, they had to prove that this vaccine, what they have developed is very effective in combating that particular virus. So for whatever they had to, you know, prove that this vaccine is good, they had to provide enough of, you know, um, facts in order to prove that hypothesis. So this is something about experimental or empirical research. So what did uh, people do first is they design an experimental design 
which according to the particular researcher would manipulate the variables okay so has to get a desired information so what they do is they the, if you see the manipulating you would have some variables that you would want to manipulate and work on okay so you design your particular hypothesis in such a way that the variable you're studying gets manipulated you know okay so i'll show you some examples further on so here if you see um, this type of a research helps the researchers to have total control okay on the variables that is under study so when it comes to the example of covid scientists have control over the virus which they are studying and they can manipulate in n number of ways to see how that particular variable or the virus gets manipulate gets affected or gets influenced so this is what they say when doing this type of empirical or research or um, experimental research the virus the variable is totally under the control of the researcher this is one noteworthy point but when you compare this to descriptive research type there the variables i would have mentioned that they are not under the control of the researcher but when we come to this type of research it is under the control so in simple terms if we want to say the okay the research is more appropriate when the attempt is made to prove that certain variables influence the other variables in some way so when you want to prove certain scenarios where one variable influences the other this type of a research proves to be very appropriate okay and when you you know um, the results that it's produced also they are very powerful evidences also for your particular research or your hypothesis this type of a research so here moving on to examples so if you see here the experimental design as i said the covid scenario here the virus it is the control variable okay and if you see the influencing variables the vaccines there would have been lot of elements that would have been you know used to influence the particular variable that is the virus over here so that's why this is an example of how you can perform a research in order that you control have the particular variable under your control and you influence it with some other manipulating variables another example now this is all don't think it's all related to you know scientific uh, experiments even a very base experiment that you want to perform let's say you're a product or a business analyst at that time you want to perform certain experiments of how you know customers they feel about your product how they get influenced so not that can be an experiment so if you see here in this particular experiment that you want to do is the hypothesis would be like you need to identify that customers are influenced by various aspects that you provide okay so here if you see the controlled variable would be the customer and you would try to manipulate the customer in different ways and how you would try to influence them is through various manipulating or influencing variables what can be those variables it can be the price at which you offer the customer a lower price or a higher price that can influence your customer purchasing your product it can be a very you know the customer service that you provide that can be one of a factor that influences your customer or it can be even the very product and its features and what type of solutions it is providing can be another factor that influences your customer so this is also a type of you know a scenario where this research an empirical or experimental type of research would hold good so if you look at the other types of research there are also a lot of other types of research so it, it totally depends on like what is the you know um uh what i can say it depends on various factors that you know various other different types of research exist so for example if it's going to be totally based on time if time is going to be a factor then you can do instant research for example if it's just a you know quick research maybe someone tells you to check out something on the web so internet so you do an instant research and you get the answer those are all instant researches the next one can be a time period based research so when it is a time period based research you will have a particular time frame under which you have to do your research when it comes to objective based research suppose your research is based on certain objectives at that time there's something called as decision based research and conclusion based research researches that help you to make 
best decisions and conclusion based researches the researches that help you to take some conclusions the next one is environment based researches if you are most uh, you know focused on certain you know uh, the envi if the environment plays an important role in your research then there are various types of researches it can be either you have to do it in a lab you have to do it on site or you can just do it from wherever you are so if you see here for examples for environment based research can be certain archaeological or historical researches have to be done on site but when if you look at scientific researches most of them have to do be done in labs but when you look at researches done like you know in the it sector sometimes it can be done in the labs or it can be if you if we as business analysts or product analysts so whoever in the business if we are trying to do a generic research it can be done from wherever we are in an ad hoc basis so these are all the other types of researches also that exist so um that's it for this video i hope you got a little understanding on what is um, conceptual and what is um, empirical or otherwise called as um, experimental research i hope this was little useful and if you found this uh, video useful uh, please do give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do subscribe to this channel and also do share your feedbacks thank you